by Steph W. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about shipping supplies. This is going to be sweet and to the point, okay? Um, one thing that you do need to go ahead and figure out what you're going to do is how you're going to ship. So, are you going to use PayPal and just ship everything from PayPal right now? Are you going to use ShippingEasy.com and use the free account right now? Um, it's the same exact thing. You can integrate your PayPal into Shipping Easy. It is a little fussy at times. So you can honestly just copy and paste. Um, so you need to figure out how you're going to do that, okay? With the Shipping Easy, do not get the one where you have to pay for the membership right now. Right now, for your first month or your first few months, sending 50 packages or less, um, you just need the free account. Do not pay for it. It's another expense that you do not need right away, okay? And PayPal does, you can do batches, mailing and batches, and it's free, okay? And they both give you discounts. So just figure out what's best for you. All right, so let's get started on the supplies that you need. Off the bat, you are definitely going to need labels right away. You are going to need your four by six labels. You are also going to need a label printer, in which Everybody gets the Dymo 4XL. There are other brands that you can get also. Um, I do not recommend you using your inkjet printer to print out labels. One, you have to have the paper for it and you're using the ink. If you just use plain paper, you are also wasting non-productive time cutting out each piece and taping it onto the box. So you are wasting inkjet ink. You are wasting paper, okay? These are all expenses. You are wasting then tape, extra tape, to tape it on to the package. Um, they do have, by United States Postal Service, free packages to stick on that will hold the label. So yes, you don't have to use your um, shipping tape to tape that on, but then there's another step on then having to place it into the package and put it onto the um, package to be sent out. Okay, so I do not recommend that at all. Bite the bullet, get yourself a label printer, and save yourself money. Okay, I will say that. So, after that, you are then going to want to purchase um, shipping bags, which shipping bags <clears throat> are these clear bags right here, and I have one. Let me pull it out. I want another one. Can't find where I put it. So let me show you this one. It probably fell. Okay are these clear bags right here. They are 10 by 13. Um, these bags, you can get 500 of them for $35, okay? So it's not a bad deal, and you can fit a bunch of stuff in here. So the one I'm showing you is actually one that is has come from Agnes and Dora itself from something that I purchased. You can send the items to customers in their regular bags. I do not do that, that's just me. Um, I like to take them out, keep these bags, and send them in the bags that I purchased, which is the same exact thing, okay? You can just put more also in that bag than having to do it individually. Also need a poly mailer. These poly mailers are 10 by 13. You get 100 of them for $11.95, sorry for $11.95, okay? You get them off Amazon. You do not need the ones with designs. I personally think they also they they are more expensive and I personally think they are a waste of your money, okay? They get thrown away. They stand out. So if a thief walks by and they see one with pineapples on it, they're probably going to grab that package over this plain one. Okay? That's just my opinion. But um go ahead, get you 100 poly mailers plain off of Amazon for 11.95, 10 by 13. Um, poly mailers are used to ship everything 13 ounces and under. And you will be using United States Postal Service for shipping, so that's what I'm going to talk to you about next, okay? If you are over 13 ounces, you no longer use that poly mailer. You are then going to use priority boxes. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to United States Postal Service, USPS.com, create an account, go to shipping supplies, and go ahead and get your free boxes from them and poly and um, padded envelopes. So, the next thing you're going to need, the next step up is a, a padded envelope. Okay, this is priority mail. This cost um, <clears throat> like six dollars and about eighty cents ish, like right around there. Don't quote me because I don't have the list in front of me. Okay. Um, 
what this does is it fits like gosh you can fit like four or five leggings in here you can fit like a midi skirt and a dolman tunic in here it fits a lot of stuff i do not recommend packing them to the rim because they can pop but you can put multiple items in here if they do not fit if you have too much items to fit in the poly mailer your next step up is going to be a regional a box okay um, or a small flat rate box, which honestly, I don't ever use a small flat rate box, okay? I just bump right up to the regional A. The regional A box right here is going to fit a really good amount. Let me show you when I close this really quickly for you. Okay, so here it is right here. This is the next step up from your poly mailer. This will hold about let's say like three midi skirts and a dolman tunic or it will hold probably about like eight leggings ten leggings depends how well you pack and get that air out okay next step up so let's say you have that great customer who just spent like three hundred dollars with you she bought like four pairs of leggings a four dolmans two midis an angelou dress um a cardigan which would our cardigans are um <clears throat> the essential cardigan so you need a bigger box your next step up is going to be the flat rate medium okay this box right here it gives you a lot of room and the flat rate mediums i want to say like can be upwards of like 12 dollars to ship if i'm not mistaken or 10 dollars somewhere right around there so this box see it holds a lot you only use when you cannot stuff that regional a box anymore okay after that you are going to need obviously shipping tape to close up the boxes i have the super cute ivis and dora tape I was the lucky one of the lucky ones who got it in my initial kit. You are not guaranteed to get that. So go ahead out, go out and purchase that. Okay. Um, and that's it for shipping supplies. Really straightforward. Super simple. Um, I will talk to you just a tad about the boxes. Okay. So um, let's start off by <clears throat> talking about prices a little bit. Um, the poly mailer right here you're gonna spend up to 13 ounces and at most I is under four dollars I think it's like 374 ish um, to send okay under 13 ounces your next step up all priority mail is up to um, 70 it's a flat rate we're talking flat rate right now and it is up to um, like 70 pounds okay so what you have right here is um, the poly mailer and the poly mailer and the small flat rate box is right around 680 to ship okay your next step up from that is going to be the regional a box <clears throat> and the regional a box depends really on where you're sending it but it definitely is your next cheapest okay um, I usually spend like probably around eight dollars to ship in the regional a your next step up from that is going to be your medium flat rate. So this medium flat rate right here is once again up to 70 pounds. And it is, I want to say right around like the $9 to $10 mark to ship out of the medium. Then you have your large flat rate box here. This sucker is pretty pricey. It's upwards of $13. It's like right between $12 and $13 to ship. So this is only if your medium box can you cannot tape it closed that's when you get on to the large okay um other than that that's really about it um your there also is two that i don't have they're actually coming in is a regional b box um and that's right in between your regional a and your medium flat rate um and the re the regional b box I'm sorry, is um, right in between that cost of an A and a medium. It just all depends on where you're shipping it to, on um, which one would be the most cost effective for you, okay? I'm sorry I don't have that in the video today. Um, I actually ran out. They're coming. That was my mistake. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that's really it for shipping costs. See, you, shipping um, stuff, you really don't need a lot. And 
70% of your shipping supplies are free. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Uh, if you have questions, please go ahead and reach out. You can reach out to me by my email, um, by my website, fabfashionbystepw.com. And you can also reach out by Facebook. Alrighty, guys. Hope you have a great day.